Hi friends, now we are going to see about classification of plant diseases. Now there are thousands of diseases which attack crop plants. First we see about plant disease. The plant disease means the vital function of a plant is disturbed or modified and the normal state of a plant is affected. The study of disease condition in a plant is known as pathology and otherwise also known as phytopathology. Classification of plant disease. The plant disease is classified based on the type of infection, then based on the type of perpetuation and spread, then based on the extent of occurrence and geographic distribution, then finally multiplication of inoculum. First, we see about type of infection. In that we have to localized disease, then systematic disease. Localized disease means the disease which is limited to a definite area of an organ or a definite part or a certain part of a plant. Example, leaf spot and anthracnose. Then systematic disease. In that, the disease spreads from a single point of a plant and spreads to other parts of a plant. The whole part of plant is affected and the economic part is also affected so the yield is drastically reduced. In that, for example, downy mildew caused by fungi, then mosaic virus, then leaf curl virus. Here is the example for the localized disease, the leaf spot in mango, then anthracnose in tomato. These are the example for the systematic disease. First one the tobacco mosaic virus. Then second one is the second picture depicts the virus of the tobacco mosaic virus. Virus picture. Then downy mildew, then leaf curl virus. Then type of perpetuation and spread. In this we have three soil borne disease, seed borne disease, then air borne disease. In soil borne disease, the disease spreads and penetrates to the soil and multiplies in the, the soil. Example, damping of cold caused by pythium, then root rot caused by rhizoctonia, then seed borne disease. In that, the seed material helps in the spread of the disease. The disease, disease spread to seed material. The agent may be internally or externally seed borne. Loose mud of feet which is an internally seed borne disease and it is caused by Mustilago neurotitiki. Then externally seed borne disease example rice, rice blast which is caused by Pyricularia or I say. These are the example for soil borne diseases. The damping of the damping of caused by Pythium species. Then second one is the root rot and it is caused by Rhizoctonia species. Then here, these are the example of seed borne disease. First one, the loose mud of feet. Then second one, rice blast. Then air borne disease. In that, the disease is spread by the wind. Here example, early leaf spot and late leaf spot of groundnut. The early leaf spot of groundnut caused by Cercospora arachnidoda. And the later leaf spot of groundnut caused by Phaseuropsis personata. In that, the first picture depicts yellow leaf spot of groundnut is seen on the upper surface of leaf, which is brown in brown to dark in color, surrounded by yellow patches. And the late leaf spot means which is occurring on the lower surface of a leaf, and which has a dark brown, dark brown spots, dark black or dark black spots, surrounded by light, little yellow patches. Then based on the extent of occurrence and geographic distribution. In that first we say about endemic disease. The endemic disease means which is occurring in a country or a locality year, year after year continuously and it may be moderate to severe form. Example, what disease of potato and which is caused by Synchytrium entomobiticum and which is uh, occurring in a Darjeeling. Then in Asia, Citrus canker caused by Scanthomonas campestris, PVC tree. And in India, sorghum rust caused by Paxenia purpurea. These are the example for endemic disease. 
ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் சிப்ரஸ் கேங்கர் தென் சொர்க்கம் ரஸ்ட் தென் வா பொட்டேட்டோ வாட்டிசிஸ் இன் டார்ஜிலிங் தென் வி சி அபவுட் எபிடமிக் டிசீஸ் த எபிடமிக் டிசீஸ் இஸ் அதர்வைஸ் நோன் எஸ் எபிஃபைட்டாட்டிக் டிசீஸ் இன் திஸ் த டிசீஸ் இஸ் சடன்லி அவுட் பிரேக் ஓவர் ஒயிட் ஸ்பெட் ஏரியா அண்ட் விச் காசஸ் அ கிரேட் எக்ஸ்டென்சிவ் லாசஸ் விச் மே பி ப்ரெசன்ட் கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி இன் லோக்காலிட்டி அண்ட் விச் அட்டைன் சிவியர் ஃபார்ம் ஒன்லி ஆன் தே ஃபேவரபுள் கண்டிஷன் அண்ட் ஒன்லி ஆன் தேர் அக்யூஷன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் விச் டெம்பரஸ்ட் தென் பவுட்ரி மெல்டிவ் தென் லைட் பிளைட் ஆஃப் பொட்டேட்டோ தென் சுகர் கேன் ரெட் ட்ராட் ரைஸ் பிளாஸ்ட் தென் டவுனி மெல்டி ஆஃப் கிரேப்ஸ் திஸ் ஆர் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் எபிடமிக் டிசீஸ் ஆர் எபிஃபைட்டாட்டிக் டிசீஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் பிச்சர் டெபிக்ஸ் வீட் ஸ்டெம் ரெஸ்ட் தென் லேர் பிளைட் ஆஃப் பொட்டேட்டோ தென் ரைஸ் பிளாஸ்ட் தென் சுகர் கேன் ரெட் ட்ராட் தென் டவுனி மெல்டி ஆஃப் கிரேப்ஸ் இந்த கிரேப் வைன்ஸ் இன் அ லீஃப் then we see about sporadic disease the sporadic disease means which is occurring at a irregular interval irregular interval in a certain places which means it occurs uh, year after which occurs two months once then six months once like that it occurs at a irregular interval over a limited area example fusarium wilt of cotton and which is caused by fusarium oxyporum then grains met of sorghum which is caused by spagalothia cruenta then wheat loose met which is caused by ustilago neura titiki these are the pictures of the sporadic disease the first one depicts the fusarium wilt of cotton then loose met of wheat then sorghum grains met next we see about pandemic disease the pandemic disease is occurring throughout the country country continent or a world and which has a mass mortality and the lay blight of potato and wheat stem rust and the example for the pandemic diseases then the classification is um, multiplication of inoculum in that we have two first one is simple interest disease then another one is the compound interest disease first one we see about simple interest disease in this the disease uh, increases just like a simple interest in a money which comes from a reservoir and the amount of inoculum is fixed so no repetition of diseases comes only the certain amount is fixed and it only spreads and further no repetition or no multiplication occurs uh, for this example pythium species then sclerotia then rhizoctonia species the first is picture depicts the diagram of a pythium then second picture depicts the damping of which is caused by the pythium species then um, third picture depicts the sclerotium lofsi then fourth picture the stem rot which is caused by sclerotium species then here the rhizoctonia root rot the first picture depicts the rhizoctonia then the second picture is the root rot root rot caused by rhizoctonia species and it is a monocyclic epidemics which means a simple interest disease because it occurs a single cycle like that then we see about compound interest disease in that the disease just increases like a compound interest it is multiply it is multiply several times and there is a no and there's no certain and we do not predict the amount and which occurs which is a multiply several times during a crop growth in a particular season is in for example in wheat rust it may multiply for 7 to f- every 7 to 15 days so uh, it is fastly multiply so the disease will spread fastly throughout the place for that example wheat stem rust then rice blast then powdery mildew in this we see about for the picture we see about the example of com- the examples are powdery mildew then wheat stem rust then rice blast and these are the reference books and articles from which information is taken thank you